what's up everyone and welcome back to another cyberpunk 2077 video today's video is going to discuss a very fun and underrated smart sniper the ashura this is such an amazing sniper that i'm pretty surprised that nobody's really talked about it especially if you use it with smart link either way i will show you where you can get your hands on one as well as some other recommendations that will boost your damage to insane amounts before we get started, I want to personally invite you to join our Silverback community by tapping that subscribe button and hitting a like as well. This will provide you with the best up-to-date content for each game that we play and cover on this channel. Now with that being said, let's get started. So there's quite a few different weapons in the game I would recommend. Of these, the Ashura Sniper Rifle is probably one of the best weapons in the game if you have the right equipment for it. As shown from the gameplay, there are times when my crit damage does anywhere from 20 to 30k just from one shot alone, and I always do headshots with literally no effort. At the moment, if you take a look at my stats of my current Ashura, you'll notice that it has a DPS of around 669, but the damage per shot is almost around 2800, making it one of the hardest hitting weapons in the game. What makes the sniper even better is the fact that it is a smart rifle, meaning if you pair it with Smart Link, which is a hand cybernetic, you can make sure that you do headshots 100% of the time. So mix this with crit damage, extra headshot damage, and you'll be one-shotting a lot of different enemies. First, let's discuss where you can get your hands on one, which is a blueprint you can find from an organized crime area that is located right here on your map. Now I will make sure that I zoom in a bit so you can see exactly where it is, but once you are here you're going to want to clear out the enemies below the infrastructure, but in order to get the blueprint you will need to head to the back where there is a lift. Get inside of the lift and then you can activate it to get yourself higher up, in which you can then jump onto the scaffold and then climb up higher. At the top you can then defeat the enemy and loot the sniper's blueprint from him, and from here you can then craft the sniper which will be a legendary from the blueprint. Once crafted I would highly recommend you upgrade it as much as possible of course to increase the damage. You will also notice that when you use it it's just like an ordinary sniper when you're ADSing so you need to make sure that you have the smart link cyberware for your arms. Now the smart link can be bought from the ripper docks once your street cred reaches around level 20 and the higher the street cred the more rare it will be. If you're having trouble finding the smart link start going to each ripper dock checking their inventory and if not there fast forwarding 48 hours while outside and then head back in to check if it's available again the smart link is very important to activating any of the smart weapons actual technology where it will auto aim for the body or the head this is what you want to make sure that you always do headshots now on top of this, if you have some money to blow, there are a few clothing vendors around the city that actually sell Deadeye, which is a clothing mod or attachment that grants 15% higher crit chance and 30% higher crit damage. So the higher the crit chance and the damage and the more you will always do headshots with the sniper, you're going to be doing some crazy, crazy amounts of damage. What makes this even better is that if you buy more than one of these and put them in each slot for your clothing, you're going to be making a very serious and overpowered build just with this alone. Now moving on to trajectory analysis, which is actually a mod for your ocular system or your Kuroshi optics. It's going to make sure that headshot bonus damage is increased by an insane amount of 50% and this can also be bought from Ripper Docs as well. Again, considering we are always doing headshots, this is only going to increase our damage output even more, which makes this again a very insane build. Last but not least, I do want to talk about some other character perks I would highly recommend under the reflexes attribute. Under the Assault tab, I would highly recommend you unlock Bullseye for an increase in damage by 10% while aiming. The Bullet Jock maxed out for an additional 10% in damage, and then next is going to be Executioner near the bottom. Because our enemies are likely to be full health and we are going for one shots, you're going to be dealing an additional 25% damage because their health is above that 50% mark. Next if you have the points and level, Named Bullets is another one that I am currently working towards but increases crit damage by 35%. And last but not least, Nerves of Steel, which increases headshot damage done by more than 20%. Altogether, these should give your build some serious damage bonus. So at the end of the day, if you follow this, you should be doing some serious damage with this sniper rifle and one-shotting almost anything, depending on your difficulty level, of course. It's one of my favorite guns and builds to use, and not to mention, there is a lot more that you can do or add to this to make it even more overpowered. So with that being said, I do hope you found this video helpful, and if so, leaving a like and subscribing is the best best way to stay up to date with more let me know what other weapons or builds you guys are using in the comments below and i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace